We're back on Shadow of Mordor, entering the Dark Monument. Ooh. How does it feel playing some more Shadow of Mordor, Nick? It's been a while, <laughs> and, I, and honestly, it's it's very exciting. It's it's fun. This game is pretty damn good. Yeah, it really is. I um I played a lot right after our last recording session. So this is a new recording session, weeks after that. Um, but I went and did a bunch of side quests and just kind of cleaned up the map a little bit. So you played the real game when we weren't watching. Well, the real game is the main the quest, story. which is what we're if doing. If you say so. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, I want to, we, we made plans about that anyway. That yeah, was yeah. our whole idea. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, anyhow, I've, I've gotten, you know, leveled up a little bit, got some new runes and stuff, and, uh, and now we're back and I finally get to see the end of this game. I'm, I'm planning on beating it tonight. That is an impressive and lofty goal, sir. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of episodes, but I'm ready. The body is ready. The mind is willing. The spirit is... What's the word for a spirit that is, like, Quivering. pretty close to the, 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 the material realm? Succulent? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hergon. Yeah. Is he taking me on another random mission where we're going to walk around and he's going to talk for a long time and I'm going to ignore him? Oh, and I then... think this one is too, because... To oh, this is that one. <sighs> steal a cart of Grog. Oh, oh, yeah, this is a pretty big mission, though. Let's move. Mm. This is, uh, this is actually... Uh, I'll say no more, because shit's about to get real. Okay. But you're going to need a cart of Grog. Well, you should say things, because I have to play. I am saying things, man. I'm talking about Grog. <laughs> you said, I'll say no more. I'll say no is more this? on the subject. Oh, oh. Dude, I didn't... that ghoul, that, like, face licker looking dude. I didn't know what it was in front of me. Hey, he helped my hunting challenge. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nature's darkness cannot be tamed. Okay. Yeah, that's a classic Hergon right cool, there. Cool, cool guy. Wait, was I that probably Talon? turn this down to make sure it's that was Hergon. Oh. I, I mean, I can't hear it from over here. I doubt it's. Uh, well, it's turned down a little bit now, just in case. I don't want it to double up on the. No, on the after on the after audio. I don't know what I'm saying. So I guess I'll on kick it off with the uh, the immediate story that was on my mind as we were on our way home from. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. So I was the watching. one you were like, I, sh I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't sure how to tell it, and then I kind of afterwards maybe it's not so bad, but it's awkward because it's personal about um, someone in our family. But I'm mm -hmm. not gonna use names. Instead, yes. I'll say I was watching Lord of the Rings at a family member's house. Uh, the cartoon um, uh, where um, Strider was blonde, and <laughs> I can't remember much more about that particular cartoon. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I finished it, and I was like, man, I need something else to watch. And I went into their DVD cabinet, and I was like, hmm, I've seen most of these movies. Uh, and I got a chair, and I climbed up to the top shelf of the DVD cabinet, and <laughs> behind the, uh, the, like, regular DVDs was a set of <laughs> a, a whole, like, case of pornography, and oh. it was my first exposure to pornography that I can really think of, because I was pretty young at the time. Oh, oh there we go. Um, and I, yeah. uh, I guess I, could, I, I probably want to reel back from saying what it was. Uh, but it was like, <laughs> it all had one particular theme, uh -huh. and it I, shaped I, the way I viewed that relative for a very long time, because I was like, huh, like, you're married. What are you doing with this trash? Whoa. This, is my, this is my young brain talking. I guess that's not who I would have thought it would be then. But now mean? I have an idea of who it is. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, what? I mean... We are, we are like... Our younger Two uncles. Pages here. No, no. Uh, you said who it was that. Oh, uh, sure, sure. It, you weren't gonna say any names, but you said you're married, which narrows <laughs> down the field quite a bit of uncles. <laughs> uh, I. Family members, if you're watching, the puzzle should be coming pretty apparent now. Yeah. <laughs> My first exposure to pornography was from also our uncles, but much younger uncles, not any who have been married. Mm. Um. And uh, why is why is that a thing? Like that seems kind of weird, right? What's that? Having, well, I mean, I guess it wasn't like he showed you pornography. He just found no, it. no, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I never got like I never needed it because the movies I watched were beyond were were, were not the movies I should have watched, but they raised me enough. Mm -hmm. um, all those all the television and movies I watched. But I never got any kind of birds and bees talk or like yeah. this is porn or you know. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like I had something like that with our younger uncles, but not like, not in a mature enough way that it would be called a birds and bees talk. But things were explained to me at, at probably too young of an age, um, <laughs> because they were immature and thought it was funny, kind of thing, you know. When I came back as like near an adult, <laughs> my uncles were ready to talk to me, and they're just like, "You hitting it? You hitting it?" Ugh. And that was like all they cared about. Ugh. 
Um, you That's know. so gross. And I was like, well, I am in a long-term relationship, so, you know, it's, it's gone pretty well. <laughs> uh, why say that to a family member? Like, I think of that as, like, I imagine my eight-year-old nephew growing up to be... You know, 18 or whatever, and me ever saying that to him? Well, there'll no always be like way. a kid in your mind, right? Yeah, right? Like, how does anyone lose that? I don't know. Like, I never want to hear about your sex life, let alone. <laughs> well, let me tell you. No, sir. <laughs> Please do not. I mean, I already told you the humping story, so. That's true. When <laughs> you became a man. <laughs> um, that's true. Oh, I got three more ghouls to kill. I hope he, he leads me to some more ambushes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Leaving mission area. Dude, you're leaving Get me mission area. to him. Also, I just got the eight ghoul kills. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> I, was, I hope he leads me to them. Oh, good. He did. And he killed them, too. All right. Eliminate. Got some Oryx. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's all right. I'll pull, him, pull him into the bush here, I guess. Kind of want a sitcom that's like just orc life. You wanna, oh, what, what, you I wanna, wanted it to be. Or clicks are like. Um, like they definitely have clicks, right? Like we saw that in the movie. Ergon is taking damage. I don't know if we ever saw it in the books as much. Jeez, I'm I'm having trouble <laughs> controlling the character again. Oh boy, you you were just like killing it before this. You started. Yeah. Now you're like noob lord, McGoops. Thanks, thanks for that. Oh hey, there's Captain. I need to take care of this dude. business. Yeah, business. Oh, that's not Captain, that's just Hergon. <laughs> Classic Hergon. Captain Hergon. I don't understand why it was telling me I was leaving the mission area, though. Uh, probably because he was running off without you. What a jerk. Well, maybe you should have been following him. Maybe I was. Were you? Were you really? Yeah, I Were you following him in your heart? I, oh, did you see how I, like, slashed through him <laughs> at the end? How now awesome would it have really been <laughs> if I was just like grab this dude's head, pop it, and then like, yeah, I'm so pumped up. Oh, I feel oh, like... Hergon. <laughs> he like falls in half. I feel like Hergon's not remarking enough on the fact that you just blew up an orc's head. Yeah, right? He's also <laughs> like, completely cool with that. He knows you have some weird abilities, but like, some of the things you're doing are pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, granted, living in Mortar, maybe you're just like, my allies are my allies, whatever. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's entirely possible. Man, that is like what a what a awesome choice. Like you wouldn't think like in any other Lord of the Rings game, like Mordor Take would be like place the final in the middle of yeah. Mordor. Yeah. Or like a dungeon in Mordor would be like the final place. Instead it's just like this game, Mordor, go. <laughs> yeah, that was a brilliant awesome. brilliant call on their part. Kinda makes me think about like any other major universe, like Star Wars or whatever, just have it take place like in the Death Star or something, you know, from the get-go, like, well, or deep Shadow in, like, of Death Star. Shadow of Death Star, <laughs> and you're just playing Talion, yeah. uh, and he's, like, sorting Imperials. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. Does he have a lightsaber or just a straight-up, no, like, yeah. The deflect bullets, you know, yeah. la laser bolts. I was having this discussion, actually, the other day, and uh, I feel pretty comfortable with my, my, my conclusion on this. The idea that if a bullet were to strike a lightsaber... It would probably melt, but it wouldn't be like dissolved. It wouldn't be deflected. So it just spit slag out. Yeah, the other you just side. like the slag. Just each get hit with a chunk of molten, you yeah. know, nickel or whatever. Uh, and that probably pretty, pretty much suck. Yeah, I guess you concur. This sounds it, like. It, oh yeah, I do. I agree. I, I think it would probably be less bad than a bullet. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you it's would not lose. Like you, it's, lost, it's not lost velocity. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's lost. Uh, uh, what's the word? Um, it, would it lose any impact because it's not as hard a material? Well, so the 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 moment, the impulse of it, like actually transferring uh, its force from its body to yours, would be reduced because it's now essentially uh, like gel. It's like yeah. It's so it the, the the force will be applied over a slower period of time, which yeah. will mean that it'll hurt less. Yeah. But it's not. I feel like it's probably still. Well, it's probably also going to disperse, right? Like, when it hits the saber, as it melts, it's going to spread. I don't think so. Because it doesn't have... You the think saber it's going to pass through force. as one hot glob? Yes. The saber does not apply any force to... It's the saber's energy. It's not, it's not matter. It can't apply this, force to the, to the bullet. There's our episode title on the episode where we talk about the first time we've seen porn. One hot glob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm glad we got there. Yeah, yeah. Um, These things... All right. Are uh, awesome? Yeah, nice. actually. You killed that one. Two of them. Yeah, well, one, yeah. Oh, God, so many. Ghouls. 
Ow. Okay, there we go. Do it. Do, <laughs> do it. it. What is it? <laughs> okay, now explain that without being yeah. mean. <laughs> I, I think uh, what it he's, is, is he's into it. It's cool. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he's into it. Yeah, he'll, he's, he's into, into it. it. <laughs> I'm into that. A chain I can get into. No, All right, go on. so I think we'll be securing the area on the next episode. Oh yeah. Of shadow. Oh, so we're just gonna leave it Over as a, like what the hell we were just quoting is never gonna be. Shadow over Dungeons and Dragons. What is this? I don't even know. All right. Well, next time we'll figure that out. Be ready, Italian. And we'll be ready. Wow! Wow! Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. Yo, plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.